Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So today we are gonna be reviewing the brand new Juvia's Place foundations and concealers. I did get a few shades, I think about seven shades of the foundations and a couple shades of the concealer in PR because I did work with them for the launch on Instagram. Today I want to go in depth about the foundations, about the concealers, how they apply, the finish, all that good stuff. Before we get into this tutorial and this review, please make sure that you have hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated every time that I drop new videos. We're gonna go ahead and hop into the eyes, do it real, real quick. I'm gonna do one off camera and then we'll do one on camera and then we'll hop straight into the review. So I'm bringing you guys close just so we can go ahead and do this eyes, very quick eye. The palette that I'm using today is the ColourPop Good Sport Palette and I'm happy to say I'm finally a color Pop ambassador. So when you shop in a color pop, go ahead and use code 5 Maya Galore and you can save you some money. This is the palette that we're using today. I'm just gonna use about three shades off this palette, nothing too big. It's summertime, so we're gonna go a little colorful and hop right into this review. So in my crease, I'm gonna go ahead and pop into the color Sista and put that into my crease. And I am absolutely in love with this palette just because of how colorful it is. Y'all know I ain't no stranger to color and I like to do it up. So of course, I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean brush and blend that out on the edges. And then I'm gonna hop into cutting the crease. And y'all know I like to bring my cut crease kinda in right here. And then from there I'm going to take a pencil brush and dip back into Sista and kind of blend out that edge. We don't need no lines any markations because baby girl that is not cute, never has been, and never will be. I'm kind of also bringing this color kind of into the lid towards the middle. So right next to that I'm going to go into the color EBB and I'm going to place that right next to Sista, that purple color. And you know, I didn't even wet this brush so it's one thing I love about color pops and their shimmers. They are amazing. And then from there, we are gonna blend EBB into Licious. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my liner and this is a liquid liner from The Bomb. And then we're also gonna go ahead into these lashes that I've been crushing on. And this is from a brand called Mint. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the face. First, I'm gonna go into my primer, which is a primer I've been using a lot lately, which is a Master Prime from Maybelline. And when I'm doing foundation reviews, I don't really wanna use other products, like newer products or, you know, new products that I would be trying. I kinda wanna just go into stuff that I know works for me so that I can really see what's going on with the foundation. This is not a first impressions video. I have tried the foundations before that I did work with Juvia's Place for their Instagram launch, but I did want to show you guys, you know, up close and personal how it applies, give you my opinions on everything and you know, the whole nine. So the brand did sit over this pretty little package right here and it's full of the foundations and the concealers. They sent me seven different shades. I ended up going with the color or the shade Lagos 240. This one works the best for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my end. It is a very thick consistency. And yeah, that's not a bad thing, that just lets you know it's probably gonna be more full coverage. It does apply extremely smooth, but look at that coverage. Like, you'll see once it's blended out, but the coverage is crazy. And I feel like this, color it was perfect for me so you see if you blend it out it doesn't really move you still have the color placed in where you wanted it to be um it does blend out pretty well it is a full coverage obviously a full coverage foundation i wouldn't say it's buildable i would say it's all the way full coverage that's it does have a demi matte situation and when i've worn it before i feel like it's been like a semi matte type of finish so it doesn't stay extremely matte but if you have oily skin i mean i recommend it i like it and i have extremely oily skin i think it works well for me to give you guys a quick rundown this is the packaging it does come in a one fluid ounce bottle so you get a nice amount most foundations come in a, in a one fluid ounce pro filter comes in 1.08 so it's a little bit more in pro filter than it is in here i mean that's that's almost twice as much you get a lot more fancy but i do like this because actually a little goes a long way i actually put a lot on because i'm a full coverage girl but teach their own. And the foundation does come in 42 shades, which is amazing. We don't really have much to talk about there because we know that brands have been coming out with more shades and I wouldn't expect anything less from Juvia's Place because they are 
you know, a more multicultural type of brand. And this is a concealer. They didn't send me the shade 12, which is perfect for my complexion. And sometimes I do also use the shade 16 as well, just to brighten up on the under eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And the concealer does come in a 0.34 fluid ounce bottle and the applicator is huge which is something that I am a huge fan of. I love the NARS concealers. I love their formula in the Radiant Creamy, but the applicator is just so small. Um, I guess because it's supposed to be more of a natural situation when you wear it, but you know, sometimes I ain't with the natural beat. I want the whole full glam beats. I am a fan of the big applicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this in. Now, one thing I will say about this concealer is it is kind of thin. So if you like really thick concealers, this ain't the one for you, but it gives amazing coverage though, which is crazy. A little of this goes a long way as well, but it is a thinner formula. One of the thickest concealers I feel like I've ever used is Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. And I actually didn't like it when I first used it, but I liked it after using it for a while because I would take photos and the smoothness that that concealer would give me under my eyes, <laughs> woo, it was cute. I guess I say that to say that that gives great coverage, but so does this one, even though it's a lot thinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little bit of the lighter color underneath, just a little, just to give that extra more contrast under the eye. We'll see what that does. It just gives you that, you know, 2010 Kim Kardashian white under eye look. <laughs> Not that that's that cute anymore, but you know. We ain't gonna take it that far. So for powder today, I would use my Laura Mercier, but I'm actually running out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use flower powder from Beauty Bakery. And before I forget, the concealer does give to my matte finish. So it's not completely matte when it dries down. Of course, you know, we typically don't let it dry down that much, given that we pat it in with powder. I don't feel like it's a completely matte, it's not a completely matte finish. So that's something to keep in mind if you do plan on spending your coins on this product. I'm also taking my Laura Mercier Medium Deep Translucent Powder and just patting that all over my face where my foundation is, um, just to set that, because I didn't contour today. So bronzer today, we are using the Prime Beauty. This shade is in Bronzeville. Okay, so real quick for lips, I'm gonna go into my BFF 4 liner from ColourPop. And then for gloss, I'm going into Iconic London, and this is their Lip Plumping Gloss. And this is in Nearly Nude. So that is our finished look. Let's go ahead and hop into my opinions about these products. So like I said, this video is not a first impressions for me. I have worn the foundation out and everything before. So I would say number one, if we're starting from jump, I love the application of this foundation. It's extremely smooth. It's extremely easy to blend out. It is extremely full coverage. It's gonna cover up everything. Just to let you know, this ain't no, this ain't for no girls who like the natural beat. You know, this is for girls who want full coverage, who wanna cover up blemishes, wanna cover up discoloration. That is what this is for. In general, I love the foundation. I like the finish, which is crazy because like I said earlier, it is like a demi semi matte finish. So it's not completely matte. And us ladies with extremely oily skin, a matte foundation is a must because it only takes a good 20 minutes. Okay, that's, that's a little exaggerated, but it takes, I don't know, about an hour and a half, two hours, three hours for our oils to pop through our foundation. And a matte formula does better at keeping that at bay for longer. I actually like it because once time my oils started to come through, it did give more of a natural feel. It's not as, you know, it ain't no sheer glow. You know, it's not no sheer glow, cause that, for oily girls, sometimes that can be a disaster. <laughs> but it's not like that. It does still have that matte formula, which is bomb. Concealer wise, love the container that the concealer is in. Amazing. So much that you get, you feel like you get a lot in. It has a big applicator, which is a huge plus for me. It is slightly a thin consistency, but you know, that ain't, that ain't a big deal because it does give you the coverage that you need and a little bit does go a long way. So, creasing. I actually did notice a little bit of creasing with the concealer. And I'm just being completely honest, um, after wearing it for a while, actually also right after putting it on, I did notice a little bit of creasing on the under eye. And then of course, as time goes by, that gets worse and worse and worse. Now it's not something that's like extremely like popping out at you like you're completely creasing. This is a cheap concealer. It's not like that, but it ain't. It ain't crease proof, let's just say that. But I still do like the concealer, I like the finish of it, and I feel like this is a pretty flawless finish. That's my opinion, what y'all think? 
if you have already gotten them, please let me know in the comments what you think about them, what you like about each product and everything like that. I wanted to point out also that y'all last week, obviously I had a meltdown on my last video. Excuse my voice, I feel like I sound so different right now. But I do feel like I had a meltdown in my last video and I'm actually happy that I did it. I'm happy that I put myself out there. I wanted you guys to really know what was going on with me. And I felt like it just, something that actually gave me a boost it did kind of motivate it did motivate me to feel more to you know get more inspired of my looks or just getting content out for you guys so thank you to everybody who listened to me who watched the whole video who commented let me know your story and just kind of related with me on what I was talking about so if you have not watched that yet you can go ahead and check that out again thank you for your support thank you for being there for me y'all you got a real MVP. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below if you want to. Hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.